I'm Christine. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm here with all of the holiday romance releases that I've read this year, as well as my holiday TBR. Okay, so I've been kind of going back and forth for a couple weeks now trying to figure out how to do all of the holiday romance recs for a YouTube video because it's just so hard. I've read so many holiday romances. Like, you have no idea. I think on my Goodreads, I have like almost 150 holiday Christmas romance reads that I've read. So trying to go through and like figure out which ones to recommend. So it just felt like super overwhelming and I couldn't figure out a good way to break it up. Last year I actually did three holiday romance videos. So there was one for like full length holiday romance books. There was one for historical holiday romances and then there was one for holiday romance novellas. So I'm going to link all three in the description of this video as well because all of those recs I still stand by them all. Like I love them all still. So I want you to go check those out. And if you're not following me on Instagram definitely go follow me there as well. I've shared so many new holiday romance Rex on there as well. I did, I did a couple different posts. So, so I did one again with just novellas. I did one for full length books. And again, I did one for holiday historicals as well. So yeah, go follow me over there because I share a bunch of Rex over there, which is just easier for me to share more than sitting down and chatting in a video for endless amount of hours with recommending all of those to you. Because like I said, I have over like 150 Christmas romances I've read that I could be sitting here and recording the entire month long of just holiday romances and like let's be real that ain't gonna happen so <laughs> make sure you're following me on Instagram as well. I am still gonna talk about some of those ones that I wrecked over there as well like the posts that I'm talking about on Instagram like those included books from the videos that I posted last year so those were wrecks from last year as well as well as some of the new ones I've read this year which I am gonna talk about in this video. So like you're gonna get a kind of the mix of both worlds like Instagram will share all of them whereas here I'm only gonna talk about the ones that I've read this holiday season as well as the ones I plan to read. If that makes sense, hopefully you're still with me. I know we're gonna get to the holiday romances, okay? <laughs> well, hopefully that all made sense. Let's see. Basically, if you follow me on Instagram, you're gonna get all the recs, all the posts, all the time of old ones, new ones, all the things. And then on YouTube, in this video, you're gonna be getting the romances that I've read this year and the ones that I plan to for the holiday season. And you can check out my videos from last year that talk about the ones that I've read in previous years. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. It makes sense to me. I don't know. <laughs> Needless to say, if you need a holiday romance rec, I'm your girl. <laughs> so I've been already reading holiday romances since I think Halloween I started. So yeah, I mean, it's already snowing here in Alaska around that time. It's been snowing. It's been cold. It's been dark. So holiday romances are where it's at. So, so first up, I read A Holly Jolly Ever After by Sarah Simone and Julie Murphy. This one is a collab that they write together. This one follows up a Merry Little Meet Cute, which they did last year. I loved that one. And this one is fun as well. Basically, don't let these like cutesy covers fool you. These are Hallmark with tons and tons of spice. And they're just like a really fun time. And basically in here, there's like this company that is kind of doing Hallmark style Christmas movies, but making them spicy and steamy like adult films, if you know what I'm saying. So this fun follows two co-workers working on a movie together. Basically it is a good girl bad boy type of setup. The heroine was a kind of child star, a very like faith-based of movies and TV shows she was in growing up and then the hero was like the bad boy of like this rock band or boy band and so now they're adults. She's recently divorced. Her life has not gone well with kind of the path her parents put her on and so now she's you know gonna jump into doing this adult movie with the hero and it's just so much fun because he's always crushed on her like when he was a teen and growing up they're kind of in the same spotlight together or around each other because they were like popular at the same time so he always like crushed on her and it is just so much fun I will say the first half of this I did enjoy more the second half some things come up which if you need to know specific tropes maybe go check it out on Goodreads but some things happen and the story kind of changes from there but yeah I had fun with this one Another one I read this season is Trick Shot by Kayla Grouse. This one was so much fun. So this is a holiday novella. It is MMF and just like all the spicy times, but also delivers on emotions as well, which I loved. This author also writes plus size rep, which I love about her books. And in this one, we have like a mistaken identity that kind of leads into a possible one night that obviously leads to more and is just so much fun. So basically the heroine and one of the heroes meet at the airport on Christmas Eve and the heroine sees the hero and he's actually the twin brother of his NHL hockey hot throb type of a brother and so he's the agent for him and so when she sees him she assumes like a lot of other people that he's the hockey guy and not the agent slash twin brother of said hockey guy so he just kind of leans into it and ends up inviting her back to his place with him because they hit it off and flirt and all those things 
So he's like, if you want to come spend Christmas Eve with me and my roommate slash friend, it's like you can come back with us. And so him and his roommate already have this like MM situation. Like they're not a couple, but they basically are. And then she kind of gets brought into the fold as well. It's very steamy, very fun. Like I said, there were some emotions as well, which I love to see. And yeah, it's just like a fun time. Definitely check it out. Another one I read this winter is Christmas Cupid by Ilsa Madden Mills. This is a new one that just released this year. I loved the cover, the pink, the cowboy boots. And so I decided to jump into it. Sadly, I didn't love this one. Like it was okay. I think if you're in the mood for kind of more Christmassy rom com like this one might work for you. So I'm still going to recommend it anyways. <laughs> So this one is a hate to love novella where the heroine designs like boots. She's a boot designer, like cowboy boots and things like that. And the hero is a hockey player and he's actually the teammate of her brother and slash her brother's best friend. This one, her brother kind of works as like a little bit of a matchmaker for them. He tells both the hero and the heroine that they can use this cabin that he was going to rent for the holidays. And so they end up there together at the same time. They get snowed in because a blizzard hits and it kind of rolls from there. There were some like cutesy moments in here. They end up decorating a Christmas tree together and decorating the cabin for Christmas because there's like nothing else to do but yeah otherwise it's just kind of like surface level which maybe if you're in the mood for kind of just like a light read this one would work because it's just like very surface level it was okay like the chemistry was just okay like, I wanted more kind of hate to love because that's what it was described as but like the hateful banter I didn't really see it as hate you know what I mean like they weren't enemies but anyways it was okay the cover is the cutest part though just gonna say <laughs> so another one that I read this season as well that just came out is Winter Breakup by Carrie Aarons so this one is a second chance romance between two ex high school sweethearts and they are also they grew up together like he's her brother's best friend all of those things and they're set on a christmas tree farm so basically in this one the heroine's family owns a christmas tree farm and so she's working that for the winter they're all both back from a college and the hero was there as well and he's getting ready to kind of kick off and become this like soccer superstar like his stardom is about to hit and so his best friend who is the heroine's brother is like hey why don't you come work the Christmas tree farm season again with us like we always did growing up like the last chance before we become like full blown adults with like real jobs and things like that. So he's working there as well with the heroine. This one is super cute. I liked how we got to feel and kind of hear about their connection and history without getting flashbacks which was nice. I mean I do love a flashback but this one I feel like was a good balance of not having to have flashback scenes but also getting that kind of chemistry and emotion and history that the two characters have with one another. It was really sweet in here. He was actually raised by his grandfather. So I liked seeing his relationship with him. The heroine has anxiety and she talks about her anxiety meds and kind of things that trigger her anxiety with the hero, which I liked seeing that kind of open communication of that. So yeah, this one was a fun one and I definitely recommend checking it out. Another one I read and absolutely loved is Second Bite by S.J. Tilly. This is a holiday romance novella basically inspired by Great British Bake Off, The Bacon Show, which I love. So in here we have that baking competition show set around the holidays. We have the Silver Fox judge hero who is older than the heroine and she is a curvy baking contestant on the show. So it was just so much fun. So steamy. So good. Loved it so much. I could like read about these two forever. Like if the author decides to ever write more about them, I'm totally down for it. Loved it so much. Definitely recommend checking this one out. Then we have The Lights on Knockbridge Lane by Roan Parrish and I loved this one. This is an MM romance from this author which was my first time actually reading anything from them. I believe they only write MM but I could be wrong but this one I absolutely loved. The audio is on Hoopla so definitely check that out if you have it and I love this one. So basically in here one of the heroes is a single dad and he recently moves to this small town with his daughter who he's actually the guardian of and raising his sister's child but anyways he moves to this small town and he's trying to kind of like appease or make his daughter have a good Christmas season in this new town. And so she wants like the most holiday lights you could have on their house so he's kind of in the background trying to make that happen for her. At the same time she ends up taking off and breaking in to the other hero's house or like walking in. She doesn't really like break in. She's a kid but she walks in and that hero is kind of like grumpy keeps to himself a very like cold and stoic but he has a ton of animals like like tarantulas and so the other hero's daughter like just loves that and goes over there all the time wants to hold the tarantula and talk to this grumpy guy and just like all of these fun moments and basically people describe this one to me as like a warm holiday hug in a Christmas book and it is totally that. Loved it so much. Another new one this year is Wrapped Up in You by Nikki Ash. So I read this one. I thought it was okay but basically if you want a very low angst, very insta lovey holiday romance, maybe check this one out. And here the heroine is a single mom to her child and then the hero is a firefighter and it is their romance. Heroine and her daughter end up moving to this new town which is called Christmas Village and they meet the hero one day. He is at the grocery store in line behind them and the heroine's kind of struggling with money and making it work. 
and so she can't pay her bill at the grocery store and so the hero ends up surprising her and purchasing some of her items for her and giving them to her in the parking lot and so she kind of doesn't want anything to do with him while well, he's definitely the one who is the more pursuer wants to care for her and take care of her and her daughter which was so sweet and she's kind of like i've loved and lost in the past like i don't really want to get involved and so he has to like pursue and convince her which was fun to see like i said a very low angst a very insta lovey like if you're in the mood for that maybe check it out next i read all i want for christmas is a cowboy by jessica claire so this author has a ton of these kind of cowboy christmas romances and they're all on hoopla for the audios so definitely check that out this this one was so much fun. I decided to start with the very first one in the series. I plan to binge them all this season, just saying. So this one was so fun. So in here, the hero is a gruff cowboy who doesn't really get the hype of Christmas. Like he was a foster kid growing up and he's just used to like the Western cowboy life. And so he is going to stay at the ranch for the holiday season while everybody else like takes off to go visit family and things. And so it's just him and his dog that's pregnant and about to have puppies. And of course, the entire cattle that he has to take care of as well. So one day while out on the farm, he ends up seeing this car broken down or like in a ditch and he finds the heroine passed out in the car and ends up taking her back to the ranch with him and she wakes up and she realizes she knows nothing. Like she knows her name barely. And other than that, she has like amnesia. She doesn't remember anything. So it's an amnesia Christmas romance with puppies, with a cowboy, set on a ranch, so stinking cute like i love this one so much <laughs> this one was just so much fun they basically get snowed in and have to spend all this time together while she's trying to remember her own memories and figure out her life and then the hero we have like these cute puppies and dogs and like it's just so much fun i love this one <laughs> another one i read earlier this fall is white out which is a ya anthology so it is a multiple different authors and they all have stories that all kind of play into this big overarching story so like i mentioned this is ya so it's a young adult and i really had a good time with this one i was into the audio from my library through the Libby app and this one definitely delivered. I loved seeing all of these stories of all of these different characters, all these different couples. Like basically they're all trying to help their friend win back his ex with this huge like wintry Christmas gesture and it's just so much fun. I really liked it. I liked all the little individual couples and seeing their kind of stories that take place over this whiteout that's happening and I believe it's set in Atlanta and it's like this freak whiteout that they're having because like they're not known for having like snow blizzards. So yeah, I really enjoy this one. If you're in the mood for more YA, definitely check it out. All right, so those are all of the holiday romances that I've read so far this year that I definitely recommend checking out. That will be new recs that weren't in my previous year's holiday romance rec video, if you remember my very complicated intro. <laughs> so yeah, so these are all like newer recs that I definitely recommend. And then next, we're going to jump into my TBR for the holiday romances as well, because like I want to talk about them and I want to share them with you so you can go check them out as well and have some great reads for the holiday season. So first up is Big Nick Energy by Morgan Elizabeth. I cannot wait to read this one. I loved Tis the Season for Revenge by this author last year. It was one of my favorite Christmas reads. It was one of my favorite romances of last year. Like it made my top 20 of 2022. I loved this one so much. It was so good. So this one exists in the same world as that. This follows a character that we met in Tis the Season for Revenge. So I'm very excited for this one. I know there's a cowboy, there's rope play. I believe it's a single mom. She's grumpy. He's sunshine. Like say less. I cannot wait to check this one out this year. Another one I have on my TBR is One Week With You by J.R. Jenner. So on my Instagram post when I was doing all of those holiday novella recs, somebody recommended this one to me and I was like, yes, please. I think I'm going to love it too. So this one's a holiday novella. It is on Kindle Unlimited. This one is Brother's Best Friend. They get snowed in together and it's grumpy sunshine. So yeah, I can't wait to check this one out this year. So the next one is The Holiday Trap by Rowan Parrish. So like I mentioned, I believe this author only writes MM and I'm very excited to get to this one. I know that Jess from Peace Love Books read this one last year and it's been on my TBR ever since. So I saved it until we get to the holidays again. So yeah, I can't wait to check this one out. Then there's also Snowed In by Katherine Walsh. So I read this author's book Holiday Romance last year and had such a fun time with that one. So I'm excited for this new release. And a lot of these I'm not going to know much about because they're on my TBR for a reason. Like I don't like to know a lot before going in. So bear with me. But yeah, so Snowed In by Katherine Walsh. Next, I have A Christmas to Remember by Beverly Jenkins. This one exists in her Blessings series, I'm pretty sure, which is like a small town series that she has of contemporaries. This is a new one that just released, I think, this month or last month. Can't wait to check it out. The cover is stunning. I was sent a copy from the publisher. It's 
Beverly Jenkins, like say less. I'm going to read this one. <laughs> then we have Wreck My Plans by Jillian Meadows. I can't wait to check this one out. It comes out on December 1st and it sounds so good and so fun. This is, I believe, only the second book from this author and I can't wait to check it out. There is The Christmas Swap by Talia Samuels. So I just saw this one recently going around on Instagram and it is a sapphic romance. So I'm definitely here for it. Can't wait to check it out. I also have Jingle Wars by Maren Moore and Veronica Eden. This is a collab that they did together. And this one I saw going around last year. I know a lot of friends who loved it. So I found a copy recently at an indie bookstore and decided to grab it and read it this winter so I can't wait to check it out I love both of these authors so I'm excited to see what they wrote together also I have a Holly Jolly Diwali by Sonia Lolly I believe could have gotten all those names wrong hopefully I didn't but I'm very excited to check this one out my audio hold from Libby just came in today so I can't wait to check it out I also have the Xmas Holidays by Zoe Allison so I sent a copy of this one from the publisher and it sounds like so much fun love the skein on the cover and can't wait to check out this new one then I also have Mistletoes and Michigas by M.A. Wardle and I can't wait to check this one out this is an M.M. holiday romance and I am very excited I believe it's set around Hanukkah can't wait to check this one out. Also have The Christmas Wager by Holly Cassidy. I've seen this one again on Instagram. I was totally influenced and I can't wait to read it. I think I've read from this author in the past. Could be totally wrong, but the cover looks cute and I want to see what it's about. <laughs> I also have a historical on here. So I have Some Winter's Evening by Aaron Langston. This is the author who wrote Forever Your Rogue earlier this year that people loved. And so this one I believe exists in the same world, follows somebody else that we already met in that book. I believe this one's a novella so I'm excited to check out a historical holiday novella as well. I also have The Office Guest by Whitney G. This one comes out at the beginning of December and I'm excited to get to this one. I have loved this author's writing in the past. Her novellas are so much fun and she had a holiday romance a couple years ago that I read and this one is going to be in that same kind of series so I'm excited to get to it. Lastly we have If You Give a Grump a Holiday Wish List by Anne Einerson. Can't wait to check this one out. This is a new one that comes out in December as well. I love the pink and think it looks so cute so I can't wait to get to this one because the tropes sound so good. All right, so those are all the holiday romances that I've already read this year or that I plan to read as well in December. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna read any of these as well. If you've already read any, if you have any recs for me, let me know. Like I said in the description, there will be links to the three holiday romance rec videos I did last year. You can also always follow me on Goodreads. I have an entire shelf of Christmas romances. I separate everything out by trope on my Goodreads and Christmas has its own category. So definitely check that out as well if you haven't. Again, all the links are in the description of this video. So yeah, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I'll see you in my next one.